What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going way back. We're going way back to Spirit Rover. Now, basically, Spirit Rover became stuck, could not move, and pretty much that was the end of the rover. Its last location was a place called Troy. Now, to me, this is one of my most favorite photos of Spirit, and of all photos that had to do with anomalies. Remember that other photo I showed you? It looked like, looked like there were cars or some kind of weep or something like that. Well, this one ranks right up there with it. Because the photo itself, just raw, you can see this item in it. Of course, you have to blow the photo up because if you try to do the original, what happens? It literally comes apart and you can't see what it is. But once you blow this photo up and then zoom into it, not doing a thing to it, to me, in my opinion, it screams mechanical and God only knows what it is. Let's get right into it. I'm going to show you. Here's the photo right here. And this is, again, this location is known as Troy. Now, just looking at the photo, you see what looks like a bunch of rocks. But is it really rocks, folks? One thing stands out, I want to show you right now. It's right here, right here, just offset from the middle of the screen. Now, we're going to zoom in a little bit and have a better look. Folks, have a look at this item right here, right in the middle of the screen. To me, this is partially buried, and you can see, let's back out a little bit. We'll use our magnifiers. Check out the back of this item has this weird shape, looks like some kind of vent type thing. It looks like it's oval, but you can't see the left hand side of it down into the dirt. And believe it or not, that's not dirt. That's actually manipulation. Right here, it's got this corner. And look at the body of this thing right here. And it looks like it has some kind of barrel type thing right here on the side of it. Is it part of it? First thing that came to my mind was it was some kind of transportation device. And this could have been one of the engines. And the other one is actually buried in the ground. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is. That's the first thing that popped in my head. Maybe perhaps some kind of transportation device, right? I don't know. But there's plenty of things to see in here. This item here. There's something right behind this object. And you'll see that here. There's a lot more to see, folks. A lot more. Let's back out of this. Here's the overall. Now, let's just jump right into Photoshop because I want to show you this. This is how big the photo was. And this is how big it is now. Much, much bigger. Let's zoom into that object, shall we? Folks, check this thing out. I don't know about you folks, but my God, if that doesn't scream intelligently made, I don't know what does. In my opinion, shows it's mechanical. You can see this thing doing this, literally does this, and then inside, it looks like it's oval, and of course you can't see the left hand side of it, but it's doing this, like it's some kind of vented, if you could just speculate for a little bit, it looks like it could be a back of, uh, of some kind of little craft with an engine. That's what it looks like to me. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, it's pure speculation, right? But check that out. This thing reminds me of some kind of little craft. Now we're going to back out of here. Check this out, folks. Look on this hill alone. This is, again, without doing a thing to this photo. I'm going to show you what's up on this hill, and then I'm going to do the fully enhanced, because some of these rocks are not quite a rock. Let's get into this. Let's zoom into this. Folks, I see junk laying all over the place. This is what I see. Items like this. Not sure what to make of this. Looks like it's a round piece. Well, like almost like a fork type thing going through it. Not sure what to make of that. See that? Up here, it's got some kind of weird outline. And you'll see what I'm talking about in a moment. Literally comes down over here. There's something buried on the ground here. Not sure what to make of this. But it does have some weird, odd shapes down here. And you'll see that. Something also in the background back here. Now, I'm not sure what to make of any of this stuff. We can only just speculate as far as what's in the front and what's in the back here. But these here, folks... Wow. 
Let's just jump right into the full enhance, shall we? Now I'm going to show you these items. I'm not sure what to make of this rock at all. You can see this. This looks really bizarre. Looks like it's got like a, a docker area on it. Like something they added onto it. And then the rest of it's kind of this white piece right here. And then it's coming out over here. This kind of struck me weird. It's like this old time helmet looking thing right there. Not sure what to make of that. A little interesting, right? This part right here. Looks like a corner stone, literally, of something. These items right here. Now this here could easily be a rock, but knowing that there's blur around it, it's hard to tell what that is. This one here and this circle here. Not so sure that's a rock. To me, folks, a lot of mechanical parts dressed up to look like rocks. Check this out. 50-50 for me on these here. This has got something kind of wild looking on it. This item right in here, or these items, you can see where half of it, especially this one, is actually been colored the same color as the ground. And you can see it still keeps going under that manipulation. See that? You see pots of white areas, and the rest of the object is in this gray, like they put it over and make it look like the same texture as the ground. And you can see right here, they did a pretty good job of it. But you can still see this object right here. These objects right here, there's like a row of these. I'm not sure what to make of these things. And they are, all appear to be doing this. Like it looks like some kind of weird items. Of course, they're thicker than that. But anyway, you get the idea. They all seem to be doing this. Like it's some kind of design. And there's another one way up here. Okay. What could that possibly be, folks? This object I said earlier. This, to me, at least in my opinion, is a smoking gun. And again, this looks like some kind of weird little craft. Like this side piece right here would be like an engine. And of course, you wouldn't be able to see the other one because it's buried in the ground. Now, is that what it is? I'm not saying that. Pure speculation. All I'm saying is, it doesn't look like a rock. It looks like some kind of piece of equipment, right? Up here. Up to the left and over it. Right here. These weird kind of pieces here. Something appears to be doing this. This is going across. Not sure what to make of any of that. I'm just going by shapes. Looks like some kind of bent up piece of steel or something. Looks like it has this kind of slot in it. They should have went up like this. Other stuff laying on the ground here. Not even sure what to make of that. Looks like some kind of metal. Little pieces here. Very hard to see. Looks like it's got a main body doing this. And has pieces sticking out of it. Same thing on this side. I can see those pretty dang good. A little, little harder to see them on this side, but they're there. See that? Really not sure what to make of this thing. But whatever that is, you can see the shapes of these little objects in here. This whole thing right here doing this. And then, of course, it's kind of hidden. There's something that looks like it's kind of standing up here. It's got like this small little base to it right there. You guys see that very, very faintly, but it's there. What did it look like prior? Gone. That's what it looked like. Again, these two items here. 
And folks, like I said, on this hillside, look at this. I'm seeing twisted metal. I'm seeing junk laying around here. That's what I'm seeing. Look at this. If there was ever an area that looked like something got decimated, this would be it. Machinery buried in the ground. Parts blown to pieces. Stuff laying all over the place. Looks like a Martian junkyard, if I've ever seen one. This is not just some kind of cap to a hill. You can see the weird shapes that are in here. But they did their best to try to bury this. You can see this. Okay. You can see the lines right here. See that? Okay. Down in the back here, there's some kind of weird items in here. I'm not sure what to make of them. But they were completely blurred out. Like almost no information whatsoever. This item here, again, buried. Some kind of white object sitting there. Looks like it's got some kind of round piece right here. With a, like a pipe opening, like an end to it. You can see like there's a center, black center right there. See that? Not sure what to make of that. Look at this, folks. This is cool. There's two objects. There's one here. Looks like it's got a square opening to it. Right here. Looks like it appears to do it down the other side just like that. And check this piece out. This is cool. Not even sure what to make of that, but that clearly is not natural. See that? There's something right here they, they covered, you can see. Barely. You can see where it's kind of blended in, but blurred out here a little bit. But look, at I'm not sure what to make of that. Let's just say it's a rock just for argument's sake. Looks like some kind of round piece here in the ground. Almost looks like it's got a fan blade sitting right here, see it? You can see the inside of it doing this. Right there. We'll go over this one last time. This to me right here, folks, this is it right here. Pause it right here, have a look at it with your magnifiers. Check that out. Just the pots that have been buried in the ground. If you just burn around the object, you'll find interesting objects. Okay. There's some weird things up on the hill here, like I said. Those two items right there in the middle of the screen. All of this on this hillside. Come on, folks. That looks like it's been ripped apart, things thrown and thrashed around. And the top of this hill, I don't believe it's a hill at all, to be truth with you. I think it's some kind of weird structure. Folks, there's way too much blurring here to believe this is all a raw photo, right? And maybe raw, meaning they didn't colorize it and do all kinds of crazy stuff to it yet, but that doesn't mean anything. And there you are, folks, right there. Folks, what are you seeing? Again, this is one of my favorite photos. Without a doubt, in my opinion, that shows mechanical parts literally buried in the ground, sticking out of the dirt, and looks like mechanical parts scattered on the hillside, all in the front where that rover is. And folks, I'm gonna go back to this real quick. I wanna show you something pretty interesting, just so you get an idea just of size of this. Okay, let's just back up. Here's the rover. Okay, just to give you guys an idea how big a person is to that rover. Here it is on the left-hand side. This guy, this gentleman here is probably around six foot. If you compare the rover here, the Curiosity, it's seven foot to the top of the actual mast above the camera. So you figure him in another foot, somewhere roughly around there, or he's somewhere around 662. Okay. When I look at this, you can see right here the mast of the spirit is right between his chest and his neck. Okay. So that just gives you a reference point 
of just how big these items are and how far it is away. Truthfully, I don't think that thing's more than six feet away. Of course, you guys can do a guesstimate of your own. But look at that. He'd be standing over there. Again, you can see it right here, the solar panels. Look at the solar panels. And come eh, just over his knee, right where his quads are, right there on his legs. Okay? You can see that. Here's the rover again. Right there. You'd literally be towering over this thing. I don't think it's more than six feet away. So what are these items? That's a great question, huh? So, again, it's probably one of the most fascinating photos I've seen that shows something mechanical. There's no doubting that. There's no way that item is a rock. And, again, if it is a rock, it's very cleverly put together to make it look like it's some kind of weird machine, or at least intelligently made. As always, folks, drop your comments down below. I want to hear what you've got to say. Please like and share the video. It is always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, more coming the way. Moon, Mars. Um, got some collaborations going on, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.